Okay, so in the lecture the other day, I showed you how to upload things to a file sharing website called DivShare so that you could then link to them from your blog. So for instance, when you do assignment one, you're going to need to um, include PDFs of the parts for people to play so they can download them from the website. So um, you'll need to be able to share them. Now, when you come to DivShare.com the very first time, you'll need to fill in the account details over here on the right. You don't have to use DivShare, there are plenty of other file sharing websites out there. I've already logged into my account, and once you log in, it'll automatically take you to your dashboard once it's tried to sell you some extra space. Now, once you're on here, you can upload any kind of file that you want. Just click Upload a New File, and then it will ask you to select a file. So at this point you can select any kind of file that you need. For instance you can select an image, you could select a PDF, you could select an MP3 which is what we were doing in this example. Okay so I'm just going to click any old uh, PDF that I've got in this folder here, click open and then click upload. And you can see the progress down here. It won't take very long to upload at all. Alright, once it's uploaded it's going to give me some new options. Here we go. Um, it says here your files have been uploaded and it gives you the link form. If I click on that it'll take me to where I can now download the file. However, if you click on the more options button it gives you further options including a link to copy to put into your blog and also the options to email the file to people if you wanted to share a file that was too big to email. Now, if you've uploaded an mp3 or a movie, it will also give you links to embed the mp3 and the movie player in your blog. Whether or not this will work or not is up to whether your blog will support it. Anyway, either way, being able to download it is enough. So I've clicked on the download link and I'm going to press copy, which is of course Command and C on a Mac and Control and C on a PC. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back to my blog, which I've already got open, and I'm going to say here is uh, a link to a PDF. Of course, if I was linking to the trombone part, I would say trombone part. And then I'm going to highlight those words. I'm going to click the link button. And finally, I'm going to paste the link in that I just copied from DivShare. So uh, Command and V to paste on a Mac, or Control and V to paste on a PC. Click Insert. That turns into a link, and once I've published that, anyone clicks on that link, they would um, immediately be taken to DivShare to download that file. If I had, say, 10 different parts, I'm just going to have to go through that process 10 different times. But as you can see, it's nice and quick and nice and easy, especially if you use tabs on your browser or multiple windows so that you can just keep swapping between the two websites quickly. Okay, hope that helps.